Hey Captains, Ipsock with uh, the Legion of Ipsock here with what will be my first ever video tutorial, so bear with me as I try to work my way through this. Alright, there have been a lot of questions lately on Reddit regarding Burt guns. Everyone loves a good Burt gun, it's got that cool sound, but how do you actually build one? Alright, there's not much to these things. They are pretty simple, but here is the trick. So, when you look at this gun, it's a one meter, firing one meter shells at 236 millimeter, got 100 rounds loaded. Now, there are two ways to get this thing to fire really fast. You can either add a metric crap ton of coolers and go with regular powdered shells, or you go with a powderless railgun that fires shells with no powder. And in most cases, you don't even need any railgun casings because the shell has a basic ability to hold a certain amount of rail draw and for Burt guns we're gonna go with fairly low rail draw because we need to charge it quickly so this is loaded with what the legal department tells me I should not refer to as seagull killers because it's offensive but there they are just a nice big flak shell alright so now when you look at this gun 174.2 rpm that is the that is the limit for this gun. On average, over time, it will never exceed 174.2 RPM. That's the, that's the speed at which the loaders and the ammo intakes can, can feed shells to it. However, since this is a, what we're looking for is a BERT gun, what we're looking for is to be able to burst fire this gun. Now, we do that with a different number that we need to look at, which is on the railgun tab here which is this number right here, the charging time. Since these are powderless, they have no barrel cooldown. So the only thing you have to worry about is how fast you can charge the railgun. In this case, I'm using 200 charge per second with this number of chargers that you can see in the background here, which gives me 0.06 seconds per round, which equals right at 1,000 RPM. Now, the default here is usually 1,000, which means that a lot of these guns, if you don't have very many chargers, are fairly slow. So, the two ways you increase the burst speed on this powderless railgun is either decrease the charge amount or increase the number of chargers. In this particular case, I've you know, added the correct number of chargers to give me that 0.06, which is 1,000 RPM, which gives you what we're always looking for, which is that nice burnt gun feel, which, if I can get the gun to aim... rounds 236 millimeter at one meter now the beauty of the Burt gun and the powderless railgun is that there is no cooldown regardless of shell size loading time will still kill you because this gun is going to take you know quite a while to reload but because there is no cooldown time we can do this same basic gun same setup anyways obviously some more gauge increasers. So now we're running a 500 millimeter gun running 8 meter shells. Again, just a time fuse and a whole crap ton of flak. Alright, now again, RPM limit, 19.9 RPM. This is the average for this gun when you factor in reload. Reload is going to take all damn day. So, but, as I said, all that matters, sorry, deal with the camera here. All that matters is the charge time. And again, we're still talking a .06 on this one because railguns just don't care. So the number of chargers is all that matters and the charge amount is all that matters here for that burst fire speed. So this one with these big honking shells. 1000 RPM. Now, so, again, very simple. What have we learned? All that matters for these BERT guns, charge and chargers. Get the number you like, and you're up to still, you're still limited by the 2400 RPM maximum limit, I think. Um, the game will despawn shells if you put too many of them in play at some point, so I don't know what the current numbers are. But charge and the number of chargers. You add chargers, this gun will decrease its charge time. Now we're at 
roughly 2,000 RPM, if I'm doing my math right, which is always questionable. There you have it, folks. Hopefully that was informative. All right. You guys have a, rock. Have a good day.